So you want to be a truck driver. There's some things you need to know if you're anticipating to become a truck driver. We're talking about the big trucks, you know, those big trucks, or even small trucks, okay? You could be looking at driving one of those big trucks that has that box behind them. They drive across the continental United States or around the world. I mean, this is broadcasting around the world. So you could be looking at that or you could be wanting to look at hazmat endorsement or heavy haul or tanker where you haul gasoline or chemicals or anything like that. There's a wide variety of trucking type jobs. Right now, the job market for trucking is quite open. There's a lot of new laws that's coming to, to effect and because of that, there's been a need for more drivers and CDL drivers are in demand. Companies are up in their ante a little, you know? They want drivers that, well, okay, first of all, they want, they're offering uh, promotions. That's the word I'm trying to use. You know, some are a thousand dollar sign on, some are $5,000 sign on, but you don't get it all at once. You get it over a period of so many paychecks. You know, that's, that's not bad money. Let's say over two years, you get $5,000 or over three months, you get a thousand. You know, a thousand dollars on top of your paycheck, regular paycheck is, that's pretty good money as a bonus to start. Usually you don't get bonuses till you're done with it. Also, there's things like schooling, okay? We're gonna go into schooling later, a whole nother sub subject about schooling. Uh, the laws have changed a lot. Different states have different laws. And I'm recording this in 2017. And I know next year, 2018, many new laws are coming into effect, which is gonna affect you, the driver, and also the company. But what I wanna to talk to you about today is something that's, it's in the news, it's legal, it's not legal. The federal government says it's not legal. There's some states that says it is legal. I'm not talking about alcohol. I'm talking about marijuana. Marijuana is quite, is, is a drug. Some people, some reports, some states say it's not a drug. Some say it's used for mar uh, medical marijuana, which I agree there's medical uses. It's just like a lot of drugs. There's a lot of drugs that's created from natural forms like marijuana is a plant. You grow it, you harvest it, and you can smoke it or you can put it in cookies or there, there, there's a lot of things they can use it for that is very helpful to our bodies. Uh, pain medication, you know, there's a lot of questions right now about pen, pain medications that's floating around the country and across the internet. Should you take these pain medications? Some you can't drive and take these pain medications, but marijuana, it's kind of one of those things that's on the borderline. I come from a state that has legalized marijuana as a recreational product that can be bought from individuals 21 years old and older from a store. There's a lot of regulations on this, but even where I live, or did live, I moved a few months ago. These regulations, we had stores popping up all over us, around us. Communities, we lived in a nice community and marijuana stores popping up. How does this affect you, the driver today or the new driver? 
How does marijuana affect you? Okay? There's a lot of things about marijuana we need to understand. And I'm not going to cover it all in this video because there's extensive amount of information. One question I want to ask. If marijuana is a good drug, or let's say not even use the word drug, let's say it's a, I don't know if you call it a vegetable or weed. I mean weed, yeah, it's probably weed. Cause everybody calls, you know, clear back in many years ago, marijuana was always called weed. Have a drag on the weed. But, and it probably is, it kind of looks like a weed. But marijuana has effects that can hurt you. If you are wanting to be a driver of a big truck, the best thing I can say to you is don't touch marijuana in any form. It will stop you from driving. Unlike alcohol, where you might get away with it for, I don't drink alcohol, so, but let's say you get one little drink of beer, you have your 10 hour break, it'll probably be out of your system by the time you get behind the wheel and you're going again. Not true with marijuana. Marijuana can stay in your system for a few hours to many days. Depends on how much you smoke of it or eat of it, like in your favorite chocolate chip cookie. Marijuana can destroy your life. Marijuana can destroy your $5,000 trucking bonus. It can destroy your $5,000 schooling that you just went through. And if you have got your schooling through a company that has offered, you drive for us, and there are different companies offer things, you know, drive for us uh, a year, year and a half, two years, then they waive the bill of what they would charge you if you paid for it cash through a trucking school. You've got a lot of risk. You, you won't not only be able, not be able to drive anymore, but you're going to have a school payment to pay off that you can't use because you were convicted of marijuana. Just a simple thing like smoking just one marijuana cigarette. Okay? These things are something you have to think about. You want to be a truck driver. You have to act like a truck driver. A truck driver should be something is better than anybody else on that freeway or back road or wherever you are. You should be a cut above the rest of the drivers out there. And if you aren't going to be, if you're out there for the money, if you're out there for the relaxation, the seeing the scenery and all these things, you're in the wrong business. Anyway, I'm Steve Allen and I'm going to be back with a lot of information about marijuana and how it will affect you. The, the numbers are out there. The research has been done. The law enforcement numbers are there, even though in many cases they don't want to let you see those numbers. They don't want to advertise those numbers because marijuana is a major tax revenue for states that have legalized it. So until I get back to you again on some of this information, uh, have a great day and uh, I hope some of this information I give to you is sinks in, that you learn something from it, that it'll change your life, that you can provide a job through the wonderful world of truck driving. I'll see you and you have a great day. I'm gone. Bye.